the new gumball machine that stent made and it looks pretty nice it's got a lot of detail and i think this is found at some of the uh marketplace stores in the new map this is basically prison and it is on flat land now instead of an island and i don't know if this is one of the new buildings or if he got a building and just added it here or whatnot but everything will look really nice now this picture isn't up to date because stant actually this picture isn't up to date because stant actually made a inside area for the tunnel this area right here where this slanted rock is at there's actually a doorway if you go inside halfway into the tunnel Tunnel. there will be a entrance area to go inside where all the power and generators are and then if you go to the opposite side of the tunnel there's obviously a door to basically go in the same way that you came in from the other side but basically the tunnel will have a inside part in the new map these are the new infected zombies for the club at salem and this guy on the bottom right here kind of gives the pimp the hustler type vibe and also this guy on the far left he also does as well but these guys are going to be the new infected for the dj club at salem this is an up-to-date picture for the inside of the tunnel this is what the inside of the tunnel will look like there's a green military crate behind this sand barricade thing here if you take a right here there's going to be more and more areas that you can go to and they are very scary at night overall this looks very scary dark and cool this is the new lumber yard and the lumber yard is insanely huge it's not insanely huge but it is as big as probably the new salem and the new salem is pretty it's pretty pretty decently big but the lumber yard is actually really cool it has a lot to it and stant me and emmanu all three of us had played have played hide and seek in many of the areas on the map including the lumber yard and it is a very cool area but there is a lot of things that stant needs to change um fish drowning yes we love to see it this is one of the new bridges that they were working on there's a couple new bridges that look really nice but this is one of them and i have to say this is a very very detailed bridge there we have gus Manac in the middle of the picture basically them working on the new grain now in the grain in the current map right now it's just basically you know this huge huge tower and whatnot with these silos i think it i think the silos are whatnot here and whatever it's just just a normal looking building but then, now they have this thing extended over to the wheat farm, I'm pretty sure, where the wheat is stored at in this little garage thing here. And basically, Grain is just getting a very big revamp. Nerebi made the machine for the new casino that will be built soon. And basically, you have the poker chips here, the, the cards for the hustler, tee hee hee, and the new machine that Nerebi made. Nerebi did a very good job on this. All right, as you can see here, there's Fairview Bridge or Huntington Bridge, why not? That's the new bridge that's going to be connected to Fairview. Now, Stan is in the new car that's going to be added into the new map update, the muscle car, and it looks really nice. This is basically Fairview that he's strolling through here. There's many, many new tall buildings that you guys have not seen yet. And a lot of the rooms are enterable, as I said. And that's basically the new Fairview. Here we have a uh, a picture where a boat, I guess, uh, didn't make it. Um, yeah, it didn't make it in the water. It kind of fell out of the trailer. In this video here, this modern house basically is going to be added in Fairview. It's actually already added into Fairview. It's just it needs more work and whatnot and it needs to be fixed. But overall, this is a very, very nice modern house. I think the rooms up top are blocked off. But overall, this is a very, very nice modern house. Looks very, very nice. This is what basically new Mackinac is going to be like. And in Gus Manac's Reddit post, he said that Mackinac collided or added to Halsey Island. I'm I think it was Halsey or Barkley, I'm not sure, but it's going to be connected to a bigger island. There's Smuggler up there, and Smuggler is more stretched out, but I think they're going to revamp Smuggler as well. If you're wondering where this picture is, this is also on Mackinac Island. This is, I think, this is near Mines. This is basically the landslide house. That's what I'm going to call it, because a landslide basically came through here and wiped half of the house out. All right, I don't think it's a house. I think it's a store or whatnot because there's shelves here, but, and there's desks up top on the second floor. But yeah, basically this store or whatever, 
basically got hit with a landslide and most of it got wiped out. This is the new Eden. Eden is expanded a lot. There's more buildings now. It's a lot larger than what it is now in the current map. And Eden just looks more detailed, a lot better than what it is now. And overall, it looks really nice. As you can see in the distance, there's new Fairview there and you have Radio, radio Tower all the way in the back there and Huntington Bridge or the new bridge basically connecting to the new Fairview. And basically what we have here is I guess not connected islands. I don't know what this is, but basically it's a little chill out area here. There's a little stop sign there because obviously if you don't stop, um, yeah, you're, you're kind of dead. Um, I guess they moved destroyer here. I guess this is where destroyer is going to stay now. It looks a lot better than where it was before. This is one of the new signs for Lockport. Every big town or city will have a sign to where you are at basically, just like an Air One. And obviously in the distance, that's Lockport. And there's a bunch of trees and everything and it looks really nice. This is the new barber shop. And I don't know if you can go up above the two story. I think it's blocked off. But for right here, we have the barber shop and it's got the cool thingamabob. I don't know what it's called. And you have the star here and all the cool architecture here. And it looks really nice. I do like it. Okay, so like I said before, some of the pictures that I will show will be an upcoming update for Apocalypse Rising 2. And some pictures will be the map update for Apocalypse Rising 2. So like this picture here, the sweeper Desert Eagle, there are going to be new gun variants for different guns that are in the game already. So obviously the sweeper Desert Eagle is a customized gold plated handgun with a modified foregrip already on it and it is full automatic so this Desert Eagle literally goes full auto and it's a 44 Magnum so I don't know how you people will control that. In the last video, I talked about the viewports that Gusmanak was adding, and these are basically the viewports. This is how all the items will look. I think they're still tweaking a little bit with the viewports, but this is how the items will look in the game. And obviously there's new consumables and new attachments, or at least one new attachment that is going to be in the game soon. There we have chocolate milk, milk, and a flashlight attachment for a gun or basically a gun that you can attach the flashlight to and all of this looks insanely awesome i can't wait to drink milk or chocolate milk now i don't have to wait for my dad to bring back the milk geez this is probably going to be one of the new weapons i would say it's basically an ubrez or obrez i don't know how you say it but it's basically the mini mosin if you found the regular mosin it would be your primary and obviously the ubrez would be your secondary. Here we have new bucket hat variants here. We got yellow, blue, lime green, and we have the, you know, the regular red, but these bucket hats, these three bucket hats and stuff are coming to the upcoming update. Here are three new head wrap combos and variants that will be coming into the upcoming update for Apocalypse Rising 2. They, uh, they look really, really cool. They look like ski masks and stuff like that. And they're honestly very very cool i love them now for the new map update the casino here is basically being built it is not finished yet but it is in progress and this picture it just looks insanely awesome for the casino it's going to be insanely huge and i can't wait for this to be done here's a gun variant that i would never see in this game but i guess it's here it's the pliskins mac 10 so basically there's a suppressor on the gun with a rail on it and you could basically put attachments on it like a sight and a grip here are also some new consumables i guess we have some mayonnaise it looks like i think that i think that's mayonnaise i don't know uh i think a lot of the consumables will have new icons and new images over them which will look more detailed and more better we have an orange carton here like a half gallon orange carton here i think that's tuna the canned tuna i think this is the new candy bar here I think, I don't know if that's a stamina booster or a new consumable. I don't know. It looks like mayonnaise to me. And then I guess this is chicken? Canned soup? I think it's canned soup. I don't know. But this could be new consumables. I don't know yet. I'm guessing this is what it's going to look like in one of the new radio stations that's being built. It looks really cool. And I think this is where Gusmanak and Zoller Keth were at in Apocalypse Rising 1. Maybe. No, I'm just playing. But this honestly looks insanely detailed. I like the, how they built the microphones. I couldn't wait for this day to come, but it finally came. 
and they are finally adding the Patriot to AR2. And it has 100 round Patriot drums and it can actually only go to the Patriot. I tested this gun out myself and it's literally just like the XM recoil, but there's no iron sight. But if you find a CQR hollow, reflex, Cobra, you are set. Here we have some do-rag variants. We have black, which is the original. Then we have red, blue, military green, I would say. And then we have the white version. So honestly, what I wanted to test out if the blue do-rag would match my Hustler outfit that I wear. I don't know if it does, but I do want to try when this comes out in the main game. Here we have the choked AKS-74U Assault Carbine. It is a special, obviously. Any special gun variant is basically special, but basically, this gun just has an oil filter that does not work anymore and it's just stuck on there so that's that's not really cool here we have the stunted ak-47 with no stock and this looks insanely weird there's going to be some major recoil so i'm basically going to see how the recoil is here we have the normal aks-74u compared to the ripped aks-74u with violet mags I'm guessing they're the same it's they're the same mags but they're painted violet and they look really really cool it has a unique suppressor on it basically it's the pbs4 i'm pretty sure that's what it looks like on here so it has a pbs4 suppressor on it and it has bumped up fire rate i'm pretty sure this is one of the casino infected zombies i'm pretty sure he's got the hustler glasses on he has a really cool shirt and a mohawk here is a bottom view for the casino it's got a cool eight ball on the top of the huge bar there and it's got a bunch of machines and all the gambling tables and stuff and everything just looks insanely awesome but those are all the leaks that we have for now i hope you guys all enjoyed it hopefully you guys stayed to see everything and whatnot but all these leaks are insanely awesome and there's obviously going to be more soon in the future so make sure to stay tuned. But anyways, that's everything I have for leaks for now. And it's insanely awesome. And I can't wait for all this stuff to come.